Alright guys, here we are again, but this time with an RC tune-up video. It's not, it's a little bit of a tune-up. It's pretty sufficient because right now it's pretty hot outside. But what I went ahead and did was some time ago I took apart an old Windows 95 computer, which was old and obsolete. Couldn't even connect to the internet. The modem was fried. More or less worthless. So I took it apart. Got a whole slew of useful components out of it. One of which fit into this car. It, this is the main CPU cooling fan that was just on top of the little heat sink. That, looked, that actually looked very similar to the heat sink on the Lenium VXL attached to the 3S ESC. So, first I'm going to go ahead and turn on the transmitter. Plug in the ESC. interesting to do one-handed. Left, one-handed. So I'm right-handed. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the ESC. As you can see, it spins up right away. And there it goes. And, as a reference point, I probably should have caught this on camera, but, so as a reference point, I was out running it today on pavement with my little brother's car. He just has a uh, an F1 toy grade car, but it's actually pretty good. It goes about 15-ish miles an hour. It's really not too bad. I like it. It was my first RC, too. Anyway, besides that, the pavement was 112 degrees. The motor, when I got done running today, was 115. That's not too bad. For everything else that was going on, the ESC was actually a little bit hotter at 118. That's a little bit toasty. I find another one of these little fans that'll work just fine. As you can see, it's just secured in there with a little bit of copper wire, but it holds it there. I mean, as I said, I was out bouncing it around today, and it didn't move an inch. It stayed there and did its job. So, that's just the update on the slash today. And maybe I should show that it does indeed fit under the body. So let's go ahead and get our body. Alrighty. Slide that into place. And as you can see, it fits. It still spins. Because there's room to spare it really underneath this big old slash body. But that's it. Pretty much. And take the cover off and get one last overview look. Here's the fan running perfectly. And the one nice thing about this, and I wouldn't be able to you know, speak for the actual millennium cooling fan, but what I can say about this one is at least I know how to take this one apart and it's easy to do. It's just kept in with a little e clip that you can snap off and the fan comes right off. So if I get any kind of dust or dirt in there and it starts to make a gritty grinding sound, I can just take them off and brush it off with a Q-tip and it's good to go. But, yeah, so much for the last final overview. Alright, here's the last final overview. You see it just plug right in the auxiliary port of the VXL 3S itself. And it just sits there nicely. It does its job and does it really well. So I'm happy with it. Later.